All right, so this this is actually very simple. Everything like the way I think about stuff from like Dead by Daylight is always from like what would a new person do? You know, like how would a new person feel about certain camps and stuff. And for the longest time, about totems and boons and what whatever what they're called, you know, boons, hexes, and all so they're, all they're all totems and everything. You know, the thing I have a problem with about the the big problem to me is the difference in I would say is on the impact. Yes, hex totems can be very powerful, very strong, and and everything about them. They're supposed to be this terrifying force with a high power and a well, basically a high power and also a high risk, a higher risk with them, you know, for the same fact that you can just, uh, you know, you can just basically do this to them. It's like, here's the high power it's in the air, high as shit, right? But then you could just do that, destroy it in a second. And, oh, what's this? No matter how I want, I can't put it back to its right shape. But, so... But the difference is with a boon totem is basically of a solid fucking steel bottle. Is I could try to destroy it, try to get rid of it, but over time, it's going to stay the same. You can just pop it anywhere. That's the thing I always think is so strange because behavior and everyone else says that they're supposed to be the same e like level or e same level as the totem, as a hex totem. Yet with a boon, you could you know all, everyone knows you can easily just be, oh I want this totem right here near people. Oh I want it on this side. I want it over here, 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 here. Yes, the downside is you can't just put all boon perks on and have every boon just circling the map. It just puts on one totem. But you know the thing is like, one doesn't take that long to bless a totem. You know doesn't take it long at all. It doesn't take long to destroy one usually unless they have the perk to slow them down. But that's the thing, you know? They're super strange and, like, very weird how they work. But the thing I would say to fix them, my idea to fix them, is very simple. That you basically put the same risk on a boon totem that exists on a hex. So basically what this means is, as an example with the can in the bottle, is the second... So you, you can put, when you first enter the match, like, I've thought this over, thought... Tokens, points, all stuff. No, simplest thing I thought of that would one hundred percent like to me work, and maybe to others makes sense. Is that you just put them on? So as soon as you pop a totem, right? That's fine. That's the totem there. But you go to pop it somewhere else. You so put somewhere else on the other side of the map, or nearby, whatever. We never find another one. That totem, the first totem you spawn, the first totem that you put on, goes. It just pops. It breaks. You can't repair it, you can't cleanse it, yeah, whatever. It breaks immediately. So it's gone. So that's the corner of the map. You cannot put one on. So teams can't do that. You know? So that's what I'm thinking of, you know? Or that and also there's be a, obviously a cooldown so you just can't so a teammate can't just go around and just blowing up every totem on the map. You know? So that's that's what I think. That's a simple mechanic that I think would improve it. Also another thing too is with that, you know, so people just can't go around blowing up their own totems like crazy and everything. And something that's, to me, that I would say is the biggest, biggest thing they need to do is for the one killer perk that exists out there. The one killer perk that you can use that are supposed to, you know, destroy totems is Shattered Hope. No one fucking uses it. It's a perk that is useless. It is fucking useless on every level because you you may run it. You say, "Oh, I run, I run Shattered Hope." What fucking use do you get out of it? How many matches do you go through when someone doesn't use a, a totem, a boons, any of that? Because all it all, all Shattered Hope does is you find a you find a boon, you find this magical boon. When you snuff it, it breaks it. But what happens? What happens? Oh no. Is it going to expose people? Is it going to do this? If survivors are within the range, it reveals their aura for like four seconds or something like that. that that's it. That's it. No crazy powerful thing. That's it. That's all it does. That's a base. Just make that base kit. Remove the fucking aura building. That's it. 
That's just something so it doesn't be like stupid. You know? Or you can keep the aura thing. You know? See so someone's hiding around the corner. That's it. like either remove the aura or just keep it. Just make a base kit. You know? So people just can't go around popping ones. Because if a survivor can go around and just destroy a totem, destroy any totem on the map just willy nilly, you know? Just make it where the killer can do the same. Like, make it where the killer can also do that. Or, uh, yeah, base that's barely, barely, that's really it. And something, too, I thought of, like, how to fix the hex problem. Like, the problem of spawns, really. That spawns are all, are kind of atrocious with killers. They're all, like, really atrocious in how they work. Is, you may spawn in the match, where, here's the hex. And here's the survivor. Right in line of sight. doop doo Bam. Hex gone. And the match has been... Eh, it's only been about 10 seconds. Killer DCs or killer gets pissed off and just slugs people. Because their entire build is useless. You know? So the simplest thing I say is, on some hexes that are, say are really powerful, they're blocked for until the first gen. Until the first gen is complete, those totems stay locked. Or they don't aren't even active, right? Yes, I know that caused some chaos with like, Mentality of uh, killers just trapping them constantly. Where they already do that. They already do this. You know, I think people do it. Hag trapper, so they just just keep their traps hag blocked. Like with hag, I I realized that you can just use her uh, waterlogged shoe and uh, one of the ones that makes her faster. Just basically just block the entire building. Block the entire buildings. It's funny, but um, the simplest thing is to me at least is just make these areas. All more crazy, you know, like not crazy, but more them all more uh, uniform. So how a survivor can set up a boon anytime, basically do the same thing with a hex. So, you know, killers always want to work in place or hex tones around. If they don't want to do that, you can make it where they spawn like uh, uh, what, the night perk, the uh, face of the darkness, not face of darkness. Um, well, I don't remember what it's called. Fear of the dark, something darkness, some night darkness perk, scream darkness, and whatever it's called. Just take that perk, how that one activates after you hit someone and it just, you know, despawns, respawns, whatever you know. It just keeps going away and stuff. Do that with all hex totems. So basically, when you hit someone, or like, say, or perks like um, Huntress Lullaby or Devour Hope, you know, as soon as you hook someone, that's one of those, the first time you hook. That's when those totems activate. Completely activate, you know? Because I know what Hunter is, all those other ones, you can just, just find them. Because you can run all these things, you know? You can run all these totems. All these hexes. They gotta be destroyed in a second, you know? So please, like, just make a little little thing, you know? Because, yes, there is the Dracula perk, the Dark Lord perk, whatever the fuck you call it. The one that basically blocks it for four seconds, you know? It's like, oh, cool. Doopa doopa doo. Killers on the other side of the map. When they finally get there, destroyed. Oh, there goes my hex. You know, yes, there's undying, yes, there's these, but at that point when people realize they have undying or other ones, they just kind of get rid of all totems when they see them. Either they're live or active. If they're active or dead, they don't care. They destroy them or put a boon on them. You know? Like, that, that's my idea, at least, you know? Like, to just bo first put boons on a system of understanding, really. Like, an understanding that, yes, they have high power, healing, high auras, high this, high do this, that, 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 all these crazy things. But then add a different thing for killers. Or add, add, add the, I mean, add the same risk that killers have. That's what I meant. So, you know, it's like, oh, yes, here's your high power. But now the killer can destroy it. Not snuff it. Destroy it. Because you're saying that this damn giant monolithic man who can... Bitch slap someone across the face, tentacle, whip, hatchet, whatever the fuck, uh, whatever the fuck the hag hits them with, that weird stick arm, uh, with all this stuff, can't destroy a fucking piece of bone snapped together. How those guys run through walls <laughs> or ignore walls in general, you know? But, uh, that's all I really got to say today and stuff. I'm gonna just pop a bunch of these out early today. Because I have a bunch of them like backlogged that I do.